Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a bit of an odd one, really. I'm, um, it's two different trips, but combined into one. So I'm in Labuan Bajo in the island of Flores in Indonesia. Um, and I've been traveling around Asia with work and I managed to tag a holiday on the end of it. And I had so much fun and I had some spare time and I was back in Asia again that I, I've done it again. So I've done two eight day trips, two six day diving trips. Um, so this is just a little bit about the hotels I'm staying in. I'm staying in the Harbour Komodo Hotel behind me and I'm also staying in the Eco Tree on the second trip. So like I said, a bit of an odd one because it's, it's basically two videos combined into one. Um, so I don't want to bore everybody. Um, and then a little bit of some video about Labuan Bajo and the high street and, and some other shit and some diving clips as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it informative. Um, thanks for watching. Komodo Hotel. So, bathroom, shower, space for my dive gear. Uh, so, the place is a bit of a, well, it's not a mess, but I say I arrived yesterday, so I'm just about to head down to the dive shop, which is straight across the road. So, yeah, this is home for the next eight days. So, this is the back of the hotel. Which is uh, a bit shit, but it goes on to the. Go down here, up those steps is the rooftop bar uh, and a lift. Through to reception. Morning, morning, sir. Are you? Yeah, good, thanks. So, it's a one way street, cross over, it's restaurants, and the dye shop is there. Morning. Dive Komodo. How easy is that? Okay, so that was my room in the um, Komodo Harbour Hotel. So this is the Eco Tree Hotel. So let's go and check out this hotel and my room. So come down here, room 17. It's a pretty small room. Um, bed's comfortable, but it is quite small. Um, the bathroom, the shower is okay. The shampoo and shower gel is just absolutely terrible. So just go and buy some at the local supermarket. The towels look like they've never been washed in a million years, but so they're a bit grubby. Uh, the sink's all right, but the water smells a bit and um, yeah, it's like on a pump system. It's really weird. Um, yeah, it's the towels you get. Uh, and then yeah, the room's not amazingly clean, but you can see where they tried repainting some stuff. These shutters don't fit properly, the mirror's dirty. Yeah, um, and then as you can see there, that is all you get for space. So there's no fridge, there's no safe, um, and there's no space really to put your um, your case. So quite a small room. Uh, the view is good. This is online, they said room 17 was the best view. So this is Lava One Harbour.
This is the road behind the main road. Uh, and that's the petrol station at the bottom, so it does get quite noisy. Uh, and at the back, you've got the lighthouse and the little concert area that they built. And also that's where all the day boats go out. So you don't have to walk very far. And then all those other boats in the background are either day boats or liverboards, which are just moored up because it's low season at the moment. So a lot of boats not going out. So yeah, no, uh, the only nice thing about this hotel really is the, is the view. Um, the restaurant upstairs is, is nice. The food is nice. Um, it's also got a massage place, which is, which is good. 230,000 rupiah for a 90 minute massage, which is good. Uh, but yeah, so how would I rate this against the Komodo Harbour? Uh, I would say that the Komodo Harbour is a better room. It's bigger, you get a safe and you get a fridge. The location is equally as good. Um, you have to pay a lot more money to get a better view. Um, the restaurant upstairs in the harbour is okay. This one's maybe a bit better. So overall, I paid more for money for this place. But I personally, for a three-star hotel, would probably stay in the Harbour Komodo. Anyway, this is the Eco Tree. So coming out of my room, the other thing you don't get with this hotel is any water or tea or coffee making facility. They call it an eco hotel, but it's a load of rubbish really. Um, so what they do is give you a, a water machine and that you can take to your room. So anyway, downstairs is reception. You've got to go downstairs to go back upstairs to the restaurant for breakfast. the massage place. And breakfast. So it comes with breakfast. Um, so it's okay. Um, so this is the restaurant. Uh, they got a pizza oven there. The pizzas are quite nice. And then sit here on a romantic evening and it's the same view as from my uh, hotel room. So yeah, this is the restaurant. So that's the Eco Tree Hotel um, which I'm staying at. Um, like I said, the restaurant is good, the food is good in the restaurant, um, but the room is small um, with limited facilities. Um, so this is the main road in Labuan Bajo. Um, just up there on the left, just around the bend, is the Roxy Mart, which is a supermarket, which I recommend going to. Uh, and then what I do is I come out of my hotel and then I walk down, let's say this is, I suppose, what you call the high street. Um, there's loads of little shops um, and there's a ton of dive shops. There's an ATM right outside the hotel and the thing is with the ATMs here is that banks dispense different amounts of money maximum amounts per day so that one is two million um, and there's another one just up here called the Mandiri that is two and a half million a day and then at the right far end of this road there's a KFC and a Starbucks we'll get there in a minute but um, that bank only um, there's one dispenser is only a million a day so um, yeah, so you can go to multiple different banks to get money out, but it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, uh, yeah, and a lot along here, like I said, a lot of it is is dive shops. Um, there's some restaurants. Um, the restaurant in my hotel is actually quite nice uh, at there. The restaurant in the top of the Komodo Harbour Hotel is also quite nice. Um, and then there's an, another bar restaurant just up from the dive shop. Um, called the Copper Bonnet, which is um, which is good. I've been there a couple of times. So yeah, so I'll just walk, keep walking up, and take some video along the way. So continuing walking up, um, this is um, a reasonable sight. Um, you're dead rat, because there's loads and loads of different alleyways. Um, but apart from that, like it's actually quite clean on the main road. 
but um, yeah, if the rats can't survive, then <laughs> what else can? Uh, so this is another one, our Tomorrow Restaurant and Grill. It's part of um, upstairs, there's a big deck. It's got some good reviews on YouTube called Green Hill Hotel, um, Boutique Hotel. Um, but I ate in there and it was really expensive for hardly any food, so I never went back. Um, and then as you keep walking down, you start coming to the Harbour Komodo Hotel. So this is where I first stayed, just down from the dive shop. So dive Komodo on my left, I'm just gonna go in there and drop a charging cable. Um, these are all the shops underneath the Harbour Komodo Hotel. Nice massage parlour, also owned by the hotel. Um, but yeah, let's go over to Dive Komodo. So just down from the uh, Komodo Hotel, there's that little road up there. If you go up there, there's more dive shops, um, but that's also the road to a hotel and a bar called Siesta, which is owned by that scuba school there called Uber Scuba. Uh, the boat is really popular and the boat's actually quite nice um, but what I only found out is that Uber Scuba is SSI and not Paddy so um, yeah you don't get many people doing courses and stuff there but it's it's popular uh, and then you've got Divine Dive In, Komodo Resort Dive In, Red Whale Dive In uh, it just goes on and on there's another one here called Sea Creatures Dive In um, there's tons and tons of them and what people do is just walk up and down and just book wherever they're going for an itinerary so this is Copper Bonnet, where I um, vet a couple of times at night. It's really nice, you go through. It's recently been done out, so the bar's are really nice at the back. Um, you just walk on back to there. Um, let's just keep walking. So now we're coming to the top end, um, and this is one of the bigger mosques, which is at the top end. And this area has most recently been, I suppose is the most modern area. It's the top end of the high street and you've got your uh, Starbucks and if you keep walking along here there's a KFC, there's a pharmacy uh, and there's another supermarket called Alpha Mart. So again there's maybe three, four big, super, it's not big, but supermarkets that you can get groceries, water and everything else. So that's actually quite good. Um, yeah, thankfully I've avoided the KFC, even though you can get a crispy burger for 14,000 rupiah. Uh, and then through here, there's more, two more ATMs, two different banks. Uh, there's various little restaurants and shit upstairs that you can do. Uh, I'm just walking through here because it's cool, nice and cool. I've idiot, I've got to put sunscreen on. Uh, and that's just a view, another view of the back of the shops with the uh, with the harbour in the background. All right, let's keep going. So just before we get to the end of the road, uh, well, the, the road turns right and where the, it hits the harbour. Uh, there's another big hotel here on the left. I think this at the moment is the most expensive one in Labuan. It's, um, I don't know, it's maybe three times more expensive than the hotels that I'm staying in. So I couldn't really justify it. It was supposed to be a cheap diving trip. So uh, yes, the rooms are gonna be really, really nice. So if you do want a little bit more upmarket, it is available, um, but I personally couldn't, didn't wanna stay here. Um, and then I did also, someone told me that they're building a Mandarin Oriental here and possibly a Hilton. So the area is certainly growing. It's, and it's changed a lot in two years apparently and it's gonna change a lot in the future. So yeah, anyway, this is the end of the high street where it turns right. And there's a little bit of a promenade. And then if you keep going up there, there's a cafe called Brothers Cafe, um, which is quite nice for local Indonesian food, which is cheap. And then if you keep following the road up for maybe another 10 minute walk, which is not far, you come to a bar called the Paradise Bar. Um, and that's quite popular, really popular on a weekend. So 
yeah, this is the end of the High Street at one end where it then road bends round up into the hill. And there's loads of hotels and, uh, and bars and stuff up in the hill. So everywhere it's walkable within 10, 15 minutes. And there's all the day boats and liverboards, as you can see, there's a shit ton of them. Because there's a lot of diving activity around here. Um, and a lot, a lot of these are actually just, they're not being used at the moment. Because like I said, it's coming into, it's supposed to be rainy season now, but I've been really, really, really lucky with the weather. So, right, let's turn around um, and walk back down. Okay, so I'm just walking back um, and Dive Komodo is just down there in the Harbour Hotel. So when you come from the dive shop, you walk up here and then you come here. And this is the entrance to the harbour. So it's only a five minute walk, if that, to come down there. All these motorbikes all lined up here are bloody freelance taxis. So every time you walk past, it's taxi, you want a taxi? Uh, which is fine when you're doing that job. road is at the road at the back of the eco tree which I mentioned where the petrol station is and then you walk down here that's the little stadium area that they built sometimes they say they have concerts that's the light little lighthouse that they've got going uh, and they recently built when they built the stadium this building in front is uh, the terminal for the ferries that go to Bali and Lombok. Take two or three days. I personally wouldn't do it. So this was my journey every morning. There's two of the there is that go out um, and then the day boats which are actually quite big I was surprised the day boats are like a mini liverboard size and you do three dives a day which is great and um, it takes an hour and a half to get out traveling west towards the Komodo Islands uh, but basically you, this is where you pick the boat up in the morning it comes in it's moored out there with all the other ones during the night, but it comes into this, this jetty here, moors up, and you just jump on. So let's just, just walk to the end, show you the rest. So we're at the end of the, I suppose the harbour. This is the other place where the boat might moor up. So that one on the left, the white one is a day boat, slightly smaller. And then that middle one is a liverboard, but again, they're not. Um, uh, and that one's a liverboard as well. So they're not massive, the liverboards, but you can do three days. So it's actually quite good. And that's the, the arena. So let's head back towards the lighthouse. So I've just come out of the marina and instead of going up there and turning right on the main road uh, this is what I said for my hotel room from the eco tree is the run road at the back that runs parallel uh, so walk past before the copper bonnet uh, that's the other side of things hi very good thank you how are you as you can tell I was there last night she remembers my name um, Yeah, and let's just keep walking along here, which is the back road, and there should be an entrance up back onto the main road um, and up past the hotel. So we just walk past the lighthouse um, and the stadium area, contains the marina, continuing to walk down back towards the hotel, which is over there. 
Um, and that is pretty much Labuan Bajo. So it's, it's not a big place. Um, there's not really a lot of things to do during the day. There's obviously lots of boats that go out to the islands um, and there's lots of tra uh, you know tourist stuff that you can do. But for me, this is my down day from diving. So uh, I, you know, I didn't really want to go back on a boat again. But um, yeah, so I've just spent what maybe 20 minutes to half an hour walking up one end of the street, um, showing you sort of where the supermarkets and restaurants and bars are. Um, and then the road also continues down the other side, which um, I've not really walked down there very much because it's sort of like the shops start to end and it's just a road. But if you can keep going down, there's a new nightclub and bar opened up called VIP. But for Labuan pricing, it's horrendously expensive. And um, that's just a bit of a joke for this, the cost of the drinks and everything else, which is here. So it was interesting, my price of my eco tree for the eight nights was just over a thousand dollars, which was 11.5 million rupee. Uh, when one of the locals found out how much I paid for my accommodation, they were like, oh, holy shit, that's the price of a motorbike over here. So foreigners do get, you know, charged a premium, but that's that's normal. That's, that, you know, it's, it is what it is. And for just over a thousand dollars for eight nights here, for me, earning my wages, it's quite reasonable. But for them, they like completely shocked because it, I suppose if you were a local staying here, it wouldn't, it wouldn't cost you that much. But anyway, so as you can see, there's so many boats here um, and they, they all range from uh, their usage. So these ones here are liverboards. <clears throat> and the only thing with these boats here is the dive decks are quite small. So at the back, you can, you know, you get a bit cramped. Um, and then they're all the ones at the back over there are liverboards and day boats. Um, I say liverboards at the moment are mainly moored up because um, it's, it's gone into their quiet season. Um, there was, I just spotted the other, so this, this one here is their like water taxi that goes between the different islands. They're really, really loud. Um, then you, over there you've got um, a liverboard and then somewhere over there at the back you've got um, the Flores dive school boat, which is the day boat, but that's even smaller. That only takes eight people, where the majority of the other ones take about 12. So um, yeah, again, do your homework when you come here, but you can't go wrong with dive Komodo. So they've just been, they've just been brilliant. So yeah, just walking down now. <clears throat> that's the view that you saw from my, my room, from my hotel. Uh, I've actually been back here twice now, two different holidays. I mean, the diving is, is good. I mean, I've dove a lot of the dive sites again, twice, two, three, four times. Um, but they do do liverboards, which go further north. So at the moment, this is December 22nd. <clears throat> and it's, it's their low season. Their low season goes all the way through to March. It's supposed to be the rainy season as well. Um, anyway, there's, there's my hotel. And that's the view this morning. <clears throat> So I'm just going to walk up here. Um, yeah, so it is it is rainy season supposedly, but I've been very 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 lucky with the weather. Uh, recommend coming to Labuan, <clears throat> absolutely. There's plenty of options for you to stay. The food's really good. There's tons of stuff to do. You don't have to just dive. You can do snorkeling. You can do day trips. You can go to Komodo. Go and see the dragons. Um, and flights here from Bali and Jakarta are reasonably cheap, so that's that's also pretty good. Um, so yeah, and then if you do come, try and dive with Dive Komodo. They're really, 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 really good. Um, they don't have the best boat in the world, but it's still pretty good. Um, and I love diving with them. There's like a real, real family atmosphere to them, and um, they've just been brilliant to me. So whenever I come back, I'll uh, I'll dive with them. So right, thank, thanks for watching. I hope it's been been good I'll post some video now of the different types of dives I'm not going to list them by dive site but this is like I said two sort of videos so you can one take the review of Labo and Bajo and then the second one if you are interested and you are a diver 
you can have a look at the different types of stuff which I've seen. Huge manta rays, turtles, sharks. Um, it's been great. So yeah, just if you want to just continue to watch the diving bit, if you're interested, if not, um, again, thanks again for watching. Um, it's appreciated. And uh, I look forward to the next video.
Oh, <laughs> oh,